Hello guys, Emmanuel from Geekception here and hope you are doing awesome today. Today I'm going to be comparing the changes from Zen UI 3 to Zen UI 4. Let's begin. And welcome back guys. Now as you can hear from my voice, I am actually sick. I have a uh, flu, but that will not stop me from making a video now. Uh -huh. So I have the Asus Zenfone AR here, uh, which runs uh, Zen UI 3.0. And I have the Asus Zenfone, uh, the Asus Zenfone 4 Selfie Pro. Yes, yeah, such a long name here as well, which runs uh, Zen UI 4. So I'm going to be comparing what changed between Zen UI 3 and Zen UI 4. Now, starting with the home screen, it doesn't look like much has changed here until you take a closer look. The default icons that come on both Zen UI 3 and 4 are practically the same here with no difference at all. Now, the circles indicate which page you are on when on the home screen has changed to dots. The launcher on Zen UI 4 now supports uh, Nougat's long press actions on icons and uh, with apps that support it you should be getting uh, options with a long press now long pressing on the home screen we can see the major difference here which is the lighter more minimalistic design that asus claims on zen ui 4 the options are all presented as opposed to on zen ui 3 where there is a uh, more button which has more options now actions uh, such as uh, adding widgets also has a different section uh, screen as well now selecting wallpaper still remains the same as well as preferences albeit with a cleaner design taking a look at the notification drawer and we see stock differences the icons are now more smaller as well as more minimalistic and this follows the general overall redesign aesthetic of Zen UI 4. On diving into the settings, the minimalistic design is present here as well. And the icons have all been changed with some rearrangements as well as some things added or removed. In the wireless and networks tab, Tethering and Portable Hotspot is now present on the main settings page. Zen Motion has been moved into Asus Customized Settings under the Device tab and on taking a closer look at Asus Customized Settings, it has also been revamped with more options. Options are such as twin apps which enables you to have dual versions of apps such as Facebook and Instagram. There's also a page marker app that you can use to bookmark items from across the web. Game Genie is also present here with more options. Zen Motion, uh, recent app settings and screenshot options are also present here as opposed to Zen UI 3 where it had its own uh, private tab under personal settings. Settings that such as kid modes and easy mode are now under special modes in Zen UI 4. Also there's a new settings called the Zen UI safeguard that has settings for SOS and location reporting in case of emergencies. Going into the app drawer, there is no longer a tab for widgets. Only apps are now shown on Zen UI in the drawer. And Zen UI comes with some default apps. Let's check them out. Now, starting with Beautify Live on Zen UI 4, Beauty Life is now integrated into the Selfie Master app. Now, the Selfie Master app now acts as a hub for anything Beautify related with modes for video and camera Beautify. Also, Beautify Live can be found here here too. Apps such as photo collage and mini movie on Zen UI 3 are now modes in the Selfie Master app as well. Next up is the Clock app and while it has not received a major redesign, the position of the alarm and global clock tab has been switched. Other than that, it is still mostly the same with the newer lighter accents of course. Moving on to the camera and this is one of the apps that received a complete redesign. The entire interface here is completely different uh, from the mode selector to beautify settings to filters and even camera settings. The camera app is practically extremely different from Zen UI 3. Next up is the calculator app and not that much is different apart from the fact that it now has orange accents instead of white. Also in the hamburger menu, Menu, Zen UI Family Tools has been removed, making it more cleaner. In the File Manager, the new cleaner design is applied here, even though most of the options are still the same. Category at the top has been removed, and for the storage in Zen UI 4, it displays a text that shows you how much storage you have free, as opposed to the condensed presentation in Zen UI 3. Opening up the Sound Recorder app and the cleaner design is present here as well. In Zen UI 4, there is a new Sound Recorder label at the top. The Gallery app has also been tweaked. There are now tabs for albums, photos, and an explore tab as well. Now this is in contrast to just album view in Zen UI 3 
And also, while in the hamburger menu of Zen UI 3, you are presented with quite a few options. On Zen UI 4, it is more cleaner, and most of the contents of the hamburger menu have been moved to the Explore tab, making it clean. The weather app here remains the same with almost no changes at all. The mobile manager app has also received a redesign, with everything on just one screen. Also, I like how both the remaining time and RAM are side by side. Now, scanning still works as advertised, albeit with a different animation. Now, some options such as Power Saver or Power Master now in uh, Zen UI 4 has received tweaks while others such as data usage have mostly remained the same with a few visual tweaks. Finally, opening up the team apps, it has received quite a minor redesign with uh, categories and features uh, switching places. Also, the labels are gone and all we have now are the icons for the tabs. Now, in the transition from Zen UI 3 to Zen UI 4, a few apps have either been completely removed or relocated to somewhere else in the settings. Apps such as Mini Movie, uh, Photo Collage, and Beautify Live have been moved into the Selfie Master app. Other apps such as uh, Service Center and Zen Talk has been moved into settings and are no longer standalone apps. Apps like a Puffin browser have completely been removed. Also, some new settings have been introduced. Settings such as Zen UI Safeguard, Page Marker, as well as Twin Apps has also been introduced with Zen UI 4. All in all, I must say I am happy with the direction ASUS is going with Zen UI. It is now more minimalistic and cleaner than ever with very minimal bloatware. At the Zen UI 4 series launch, they promised that they were going to be updating the Zen Phone 3 uh, series as well as the Zen Phone 4 series to Android 8 Oreo and frankly, I cannot wait. And there you have it. That has been the comparison of you know Zen UI 3 to Zen UI 4, the changes that I am able to notice. Have you noticed any other changes? Please let me know in the comments that's the section down there below. And you know, I, this video took a lot of effort, more effort than I thought it was going to take me. The script for this video was about a thousand one uh, 1100 words i think so it took a lot to write this so please 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 i hope this video has been helpful if you have any questions please leave them in the comments section down there below and i'll be more than happy to reply to them or someone an amazing commenter uh, that belongs to the geekception community will also you know reply there and that's basically been it for this video i hope you really enjoyed it it has taken me the full day plus my sickness plus you know like it, this has been really annoying i've been sneezing since morning um, I was recording just now and my recorder died so I also have to, have to do it like all over again as you can see by my frustration here. Ah, fuck! Yeah, I, 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 I was really fucking frustrated because like this, yeah, doing stuff when you are sick is not, is not as fun as it sounds. Anyways, that's basically been it for this video. I hope you really, really enjoyed it. Give it a big fat thumbs up if you did. It helps me out. It tells me that, hey man, or people actually like the stuff you put out. I dislike it you are also free to do that if you feel that it's not up to your standard and please don't don't just dislike let me know what you dislike particularly so i can improve if you are not already subscribed please subscribe so you don't miss future amazing wonderful videos and even more importantly than subscribing please make sure you take care of your wonderful self okay you are amazing you are awesome and you are fantastic okay if you've not heard that today you are hearing that from me to you okay and please most importantly don't forget to remain awesome i shall catch you lovely awesome amazing person next time don't forget to be awesome again Bye.